Here comes Rogie. She's a 57 foot trad built in 2008 by Shopbolt Engineering and fitted out by the previous owner with professional assistance. So it doesn't look like an owner fit out. It's been done very, very well. Um, as you can see, nice shiny paint job as well. That was full repaint completed this year, this month in fact. So actually it's, um, it's been uh, incredibly well presented for sale. And she was blacked at the same time Four anodes were fitted, so there's four serviceable anodes on there, not fitted out the blacking, but four that were on there. Um, and the engine was last serviced in May 2022. And the service record for the engine was shows that it's been serviced annually, whether it needed it or not. So it's been well kept, well um, looked after. There are some belts and some spare parts in the uh, one of the back steps to uh, keep doing things like that, so that's useful. Nice Joshua bows. There are two 13 kilogram propane gas bottles with a manual changeover in that forward locker. We'll get a look at that in a second. Nice headlamp as well. I do like the um, sort of traditional style lamps almost um, on the front there rather than them being on a cratch board. Obviously there's no cratch on this boat. Down there, lying down there is a Maxview TV antenna. Glazed forward doors and into the saloon we go. The saloon is 11 feet long. The boat is fitted out with oak face ply with oak trim. The head height on the boat is six foot three and the lighting is LED throughout. Nice glass cupboards, five bottle wine rack there in the saloon. You could easily fit a couple of captain's chairs in here um, or even a sofa or sofa bed if you really wanted to. There's a Valor Arden multi-fuel stove, little cubby hole underneath there. Plenty of room in these, this storage step here. Nice big space actually. You could easily put coal or kindling in there for the stove or, or little knickknacks. Cupboard under here. Sorry about the light, we're fighting the sunshine really. That is a 19 inch TV, Bush TV, and the car stereo um, connects to two speakers in the saloon and one speaker in the bedroom. Next up is the dinette, that is six feet long, it does convert to a spare double, and there is plenty of storage space underneath either seats. We'll have a quick look at that in a second. Flooring, I should say, is engineered walnut. It's beautiful. We had a boat similar with very similar flooring not that long ago. Um, sold pretty quickly so I'm sure this one will do the same. Woodwork is exceptional actually. Following on we've got the galley. The galley is seven feet long. There's a black laminate worktop. The oven is a Vanette GG 7000 gas oven and grill. The hob is a Thetford hob and there is a Daewoo microwave. A little cupboard there. I'm going to struggle to put that back single-handedly galley sink with a little draining board and uh, washing sink in the middle, cupboard underneath. Quite a lot of storage space actually in here, they've made good use of it. Little cupboard next to the, to the fridge. It's 12 volt Waco fridge with an ice box, nice and clean shelf above that and then some more storage, a little cupboard and a place to put your cups and your plates. Underneath the dinette are a couple of little drawers which allow a little bit more storage space in the galley without taking up too much dinette storage, that's quite clever. And then on the other side is another couple of drawers and another couple of cupboards. It's also a little bit more worktop, so you've got quite a lot of workshop space, which is great if you like cooking, and a cupboard above that. The side hatch has a roof opening hatch as well, and there is a clear acrylic screen. Let the light in, but without letting too much air in if it's a little bit chilly. And then you've got the bathroom. Bathroom is five foot six. There is a Thetford cassette loo. There's a spare cassette on board as well. Lovely little cupboard this, nice shaped door. Gives you a lot more room in there. 
little radiator. It's a ceramic sink, and then there are cupboards, some medicine cabinet, and a couple of shelves on this side. On the other side, you've got the shower. There's a sort of airing cupboard here with the Kalara fire. Hot water is heated by the engine and the Eberspatcher. The tiled surround with a glass bifolding door there for the shower. And then we've got the bedroom. Bedroom is nine foot three. The bed is six foot two by four feet. There's a fixed double. There's plenty of storage underneath that. Cupboards over the head end. Mind the light there. And then there are a couple of drawers under here as well. It's quite good for your pants and socks there, nicely organised. Little cupboard down here. I suppose it's a bedside table, depending on which side you want to uh, be sleeping at, or it's a foot at the foot end, I suppose, for most people. Double wardrobe. A couple more shelves in there, making use of that space. Another quick look back down. There are um, reading lights underneath that cupboard as well at the head end. Um, didn't show you those, but a couple of little reading lights. And then into the engine room. Engine room is four foot three. You've got an aquamatic, candy aquamatic washing machine. And then have a quick look at the engine bay. It's a canal line Kyoto 42. It's a PRM 150 gearbox. There is just over 3,100 hours on the engine. It's also worth mentioning that there is a Vetus 55 kgf bow thruster as well to aid your navigation. Also housed in the engine room is the inverter. So it's a Victron MultiPlus Combi inverter charger, 1600 kVA. a Victron battery monitor in there as well nice little taff seat on the back and the view from the helm You've got your traditional castles on the back door which is nice roses and castles and then we'll go back in for another look the batteries there are three 110 amp hour domestics and a separate starter we've already mentioned the hot water and the gas spray foam insulation and the ballast is believed to be paving slabs she is centrally heated by an Eberspatcher diesel fired system connected to three radiators. So there's two large radiators with shelves above them and then the one little radiator in the bathroom. Also forgot to show you this little cupboard that's made good use of the, uh, the inaccessible space next to the shower. Um, forgot that on the way so have a quick look at that. And then carry on through. She does sleep four in total, but as I said, you could probably fit a sofa bed in the saloon if you needed to get an extra berth in. Um, and that is Rogi. So for further details, fully downloadable colour brochure and the price, please visit our website at www.rugbyboats.co.uk.